gotta take a break. I will help you. It's、so、going into a really basic thing of how Mega Squirt works. Basically, this pin twenty four gives the Mega Squirt the ECU. It tells you tells the computer where in the cycle it is. If you give it a crank signal, it'll just know the、um, orientation of the crank. So it won't know if it's on the exhaust or the intake stroke, but it'll know the rotation of the crank.、Um, using that, you can run wasted spark or wasted coil on plug, etc., like that. But you can't run sequential if you're running this setup. You also need a cam signal if you want to run sequential. So, Mega Squirt gets a signal from this telling what where the engine is at, and it controls the spark through this pin by grounding it, or the injectors through this pin. So that's how that those are the two important outputs that it controls.、Um, the injectors, those are biased. Or more signal is sent to those with the O2 sensor that tells you how it's running.、Um, the TPS tells you, you know, how much air is coming in, so how much fuel to put in. Coolant temp tells how warm the engine is, so it'll also bias that. Intake air temp also will bias that depending on if the intake air temp is too hot or too cold. It'll go, you know, rich or lean, so it'll adjust for that. And that's basically how Mega Squirt works. So it gets a signal. Here, telling it where the what the motor is doing or where the motor is at, controls the injectors and the spark using these pins, and it does so by biasing、uh, the O2 sensor, the intake coolant, and the TPS. So pretty simple overall. Wanted to go over my wiring harness for Mega Squirt before I. Button everything up, and I can still show people. So, this is a 240Z, and it has a Toyota 7M GTE motor in it. So, yeah, not stock.、Um, I ordered Mega Squirt from DIY AutoTune. It came loaded with the firmware, and I think even it even had a base tune. So. They do a really good job.、Um, I had them install some custom drivers, and all that for my purposes.、Um, it comes with the DB37 plug and the tuning DB9, and then they output to the DB15, which is really helpful. And they include that if you install extra drivers.、Uh, one thing I also found really helpful was I took the little diagram they gave me and you know went through all the wires and figured out. Um, what wires brought up to where?、And、that really made the wiring process easy. Another thing that's really nice is having a nice crimp toolbox. I think this cost me thirty dollars for you know all six of these, and they're sealed so they're not open. So they're really nice.、Um, and if you're going to be doing lots of crimps,、um, you know buy a nice ratcheting crimper. This is Harbor Freight, like ten fifteen bucks. It works. This is Anchor, like sixty dollars, works really well. Like, I can pull on the crimps with most of my strength, and they won't pop out.、Uh, good wire strippers are a very good plus, and some dikes for cutting wires is really nice. So, onto the harness. So you get your harness from them.、Uh, if you order the relay box, I think the wiring is a little different. But I ordered the 12 foot harness.、Uh, I took out the Mega Squirt power and the fuel pump relay. That's all the way back into the firewall because that's where my fuse stuff is. So that goes there. So it comes out out here. All this I'm not using.、Uh, it's the idle air control valve, spare outputs, and second injector bank. And you don't need that.、Uh, not for my application. Doing bank fire and、uh, manual idle, so there's that. I also brought out two powers, two power wires, and three additional wires: two for spark and one for boost control. And I just routed that through the same harness.、It、makes it really nice and easy. So on top of that, you have your ground wires, which are right here.、Uh, 
Uh, there's five of them. They can all ground to one spot. Um, the power wire feeds the resistor box, and the resistor box feeds the injectors, and the injectors are grounded through the injector wires. So these two blue wires get coupled, and then they ground through Megasquirt. And that's how you fire your injectors. Um, there is the sensor return. This is split into three. One goes to TPS, one goes to intake air, and one goes to uh, coolant. And they all go back to Megasquirt. Then you have your intake air. Sorry, the sensor is down there. Then you have your TPS, which is right here. That goes to the TPS sensor. Then you have your three spark outputs. Uh, usually you only have this brown one, but I had two extra drivers added so I can run wasted coil on plug. So these three feed into my coil on plugs. Then there is the power wire for the coil on plugs, followed by the shielded wire for the cam position sensor, the pink wire for O2 sensor, and the yellow wire for coolant. So overall, super simple.